Alright, so I finally got to it. I'm making a video on the uh, Catalyst downpipe from v from VRSF. Um, I installed it about like three weeks ago um, with the help of my friend Joe San. Uh, you can find his channel at Broke Beamer Boys on YouTube. Um, and yeah, so I've had it on for like three weeks, as you can tell. Check engine light. I have a Carly uh, OBD Bluetooth reader that can clear the codes, but I already know it's the catalyst code so I'm just gonna leave a check engine light there do some pulls now show you the the upshift gurgle that it makes it sounds really good and then on the downshifts around around like 40 miles an hour when you downshift into second it makes super loud pops like almost gunshot kind of pops which is crazy because this car still basically on the stock uh, stock ECU tune just has a Dynatronic sport tuner which is just a uh, boost controller so this is basically just a stock tune with a uh, catalyst downpipe and a muffler delete. So that was some light acceleration. So let's see, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, actually, I'll do some with the window up, and then we'll get to oh golf R. Oh, overexposed. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll get we'll get to we'll do some with the windows closed, and we'll get we'll do some with the windows down. Some pulls. All right. Ooh, S550. That looks good. Damn. All right. Here we go. Windows up. There it is. Alright, so this is in Sport Plus mode, manual with the paddles. Here we go. Yeah, trash can. <laughs> Typical Miami. Alright, let's put some AC on. Alright, let's put the windows down. And those are the cut shots I was talking about. That is so addicting. That's actually the, the loudest. That's like the loudest it's ever done it, like consecutively. Because usually you'll downshift into second, going around 40, and it'll pop like that. It'll be like, it'll it'll usually do like twice, but not like I don't know the five times I did it there. So yeah, that was, that was perfect for the video. I did not expect it to smell as bad as it does. Like it, it's it's really strong, but I've gotten used to it. But like the first couple days, I like I, I got pretty bad headaches when I'd have the windows down. I, I like stopped at a, at a red light or whatever. At like when you're stopped, you should put the windows up. But driving around, it's not it's really not bad. It just you smell it once the car stopped. Uh, gas mileage is gonna go down because your right foot automatically becomes heavier. So gas mileage has changed around in the city, but on the highway, it's it still it still gets good good gas mileage. I haven't really noticed a difference in that. Oh, U-turn. It's got a really good turning radius, the F30. Not X drive. Backfires for days. Turn into the car wash. This is a As you saw in the last clip, the backfires are ridiculous. Um, honestly, this downpipe favorite mod I've done to this car because with the muffler delete, yeah, it sounded a little better, but it didn't have that like that deep 335 growl that that these cars are known for. So that downpipe really opened up the exhaust, and as you can tell, it's still relatively quiet in the cabin with the windows up.
you'll hear it a little bit but overall yeah it's 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 extremely daily drivable it's it's really not that intrusive into the cabin but when you want it to be it it, it will when you want it to you just pop it in sport plus and it turns into an animal here, here we go VRSF Callus Downpipe, really recommend it if you have uh, an F30 or anything with, a, with an N55, honestly. Um, that combined with a Muffet Elite is honestly the best and most affordable exhaust system you can have on this car, in my opinion. Um, the Muffet Elite at any shop will be like around $100 to $200. And then the Callus Downpipe, uh, if you install it yourself, will be max $200. So right there you have like for around like $350, $400, a really good sounding BMW. 